Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to add weapons uh, into our, well, map, and as well, we're also going to look at an item called weapon underscore item underscore spawn, which effectively what this does is it allows director to pick whatever, you know, like a random, like let's say you want it to be like a random item or a random weapon or whatever. Well, uh, director will just pick it based off of certain values. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, now there's a link in the description, like always, uh, to the wiki article, and it will it covers uh, you know the various types of like specific modifiers, and we'll get to that in just a second. But before we do that, there are two things I'd like to say. First off, thank you Boom for being the very first membership uh, subscriber. Thanks a lot. It, it means a great deal. The second thing, if you run into any issues or anything like that, uh, you know, do go and, uh, you know, join the Discord or comment down below and I'll do my best to help you. Okay, so with that introduction out of the way, let's go on ahead and get started. So we're going to need to hit Shift E or click the little entity icon over here, and then we'll just type in weapon. And you'll notice that there are quite a lot of different weapons in here. Uh, and, you know, you can spawn a gas can, a hunting rifle. Here is the weapon item spawn that we were talking about. And there's also a underscore melee spawn, which is very similar. But what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the pistol spawn. Because as anyone who's ever played Left 4 Dead knows, there's always just, you know, a pistol and you can pick it up. Well, not always, but a lot of times. But in our case, this is what we want, so... Okay, it would probably help, though, if I was... There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to hit Enter. And now what we are going to do... We're going to go into Selection Mode here and select this lovely little item. And we're just going to drag it down. Actually, I'm going to change our grid down to 1. We're going to drag it down. And then we are going to go into rotate and i'm just going to rotate it ever so slightly right click properties and i am going to set it to 90. Hit apply and as far as the count goes max number of weapons for disappearing uh, effectively what this does is it allows um you know basically if you know, more than five pick it up, it disappears. Uh, however, due to the uh, fact that there's never more than five, means it'll never disappear. But for example, we can set this to 10 or three or one, whatever. Uh, and then we're just going to move it over and we're just going to rotate it. So there we go. Now, the other interesting little tidbit here is that you can change the weapon skin. And I just leave it at default because if you leave it at default, it should change for whatever mod that the person who's playing the map is using since it'll just auto pick. Okay, so now let's just go back into our weapon spawn. And let's say we want like a more specific item. Like let's say, I don't know, we always want the silenced SMG. So we'll pick weapon underscore SMG silenced and we'll do just like before, we'll just drop it in and then I will change the roll to whoops no don't want that whoops didn't mean to do that I actually hit escape wrong button to cancel that and we'll just hit apply and now we'll just move it down actually that's another really good point should probably make sure that the pistol is you know flush and level with the table there and I'm just going to rotate this one as well and just maneuver it ever so slightly. Okay, so now we have, you know, our base, you know, starting weapons here. Now let's take a look at the next part, which is the weapon underscore item underscore spawn, which is right here. And we'll just maneuver on over. And if you've forgotten, you hold space and then you can pan in these viewports and we'll just drop it in. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, of course, is that uh, there's no, like, at all, there is literally no, um, uh, 
like there's no model or anything assigned to it. And one of the reasons for that is, is because as you see here, um, you know, it can become an ammo pile. It can become a first aid kit, a Molotov cocktail, a pain pill, a pipe bomb, an oxygen tank. Uh, right now, it pretty much only ever becomes, uh, you know, pickup items and so forth. But you can also set it to a melee weapon. And this part is very, very interesting because you can set it to any and then it'll just pick any melee weapon that's within the list. Or if you wanted to, you could say, I want it to chance to be a shovel or a crowbar. And you put just put a comma or a fire axe. And if you want, like, say, you know, the the full list if you will. Uh, there's, again, a link to every uh, item that we're using here. Well, not every item, but most of them. The other one is, of course, a weapon spawn. And I will just drop this in. I'm not actually... Oops, got to have my cursor in the right spot there. Now, a weapon spawn uh, works similarly, except what you can do is, from the selection, you can actually pick any... Uh, primary or secondary weapon, any primary weapon, any pistol. Uh, you can pick SMGs. You can say, hey, I only want this to be a shotgun. Um, and again, you know, this is just giving you another wide array of options if you want something to be, you know, a little random, uh, if you will. Um, typically, for me, I use this when I want it to be a weapon of some kind. And then I'll just set the count to like, say, one. So, you know, only one person could pick it up or maybe I'll set it to five or ten, you know, whatever. Um, and I'll use this one right here. Typically, what I'll do with this one right here is I will leave this blank, for example, so it won't use. And I'll just use this to, uh, you know, drop in like, say, not the ammo pile, but maybe like, say, a pain pill or a pipe bomb or anything like that. But again, keep in mind, there's no real wrong way to do it. It's just however you wish to do it. So I'm just going to change this to 90. And then I will just rotate it ever so slightly. And we will just drag it straight on down. Okay. Now, you'll notice when we were in there, there were a couple others. So, for example, you can go up to um, Melee Spawn. And I'll just drop this one right on in. And you'll see it's immediately straight off of Fire Axe, which is kind of cool. And once again, I will just change this to 90. And then once again, you can change the model. And any item that you like. And once again, the weapon underscore item spawn has it. So uh, let's say I want this to be a shovel, actually. Okay, I'm gonna just hit apply. And now what I'll do is I will just drag this down. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna save and we're just gonna look at, you know, all the items that are here and we'll just, you know, get ourselves a really quick look and just see really fast. Just to, you know, let's just make sure that, like, you know, everything's working properly here. Just have to, you know, wait a second. You know what I really need? I really need, like, a Jeopardy theme. You know, like that, you know, little tune that it plays, like, in between when the people are, like, you know, trying to, you know, guess before they hit the button and they go, what is? You know, I need something like that. I really, really need something like that. Okay, so, I have a silenced machine gun. I now have dual pistols and as you can see it is actually the model of the custom thing that i'm using i can pick up a first aid kit this ended up becoming a molotov this became a sniper rifle and this is a shovel no i will not Okay, so there you have it. Now we have some weapons, and now we're ready to go fight endless hordes of the undead. Okay, no, not really. We actually need a way out of here. And in the next video, guess what? We're going to put a doorway in here because I'm going to show you how to use the carve tool, which is the next video. So thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
And as well, if you have any issues or questions or just want to say, hey, great video, you know, put a comment below, join the Discord. Uh, another thing that I would like to very much point out is if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell so you actually know that the video even comes out in the first place because YouTube is yay. And as well, if you'd like to support this channel, you can become a member and you can join Boom and all the others who uh, very much support this channel and you get early, early access to all my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day, night, morning, whatever time of the day it happens to be for you.